One of my favorite Japanese poets is Kobayashi Isa. He was a lay Buddhist priest, a wanderer, and a phenomenal poet as well. He had a life that was rife with tragedy ever since he was very young, and I feel that this gives his poetry a great deal of depth. When he was three years old, his mother died, and he lived with his father and his grandmother, who cared for him very greatly and very deeply, and she was there and the source of love in his life by far, until he was 14 years old and she also passed away. His father, who was a farmer, sent him to Edo to try and make a living for himself, but he preferred to be a wanderer. His stepmother and him did not get along at all. They were engaged in serious legal disputes that lasted years, and after his father died, he was finally able to get 50% of his father's estate, and this allowed him to move back to his hometown, finally. When he was 49 years old, he married a woman named Kiku, and they had their firstborn child, a son, but he died shortly after his birth. Two and a half years later, they had another child who also died, and it was on this occasion that he wrote this poem. It's called The World of Dew. Tsuyu no yo, wa tsuyu no yo. Nagara, sorry, nagara. The world of dew. A world of dew it is indeed. And yet, and yet. This poem to me really expresses the the way that human beings can recognize that the universe and all of its forms that it contains are impermanent. And yet there's always part of us that doesn't want to believe that, that wants to hold on and have this fantasy that the ones we love will live forever, will be eternal, their bodies will always be with us, their physical presence will always remain with us in the world. And in this poem, in so few words, he really captures how we can be so aware of the world of dew being a world of dew. And yet, there's part of us that holds on, as he did, for the passing of his children.